A local police department is asking for a pay increase and some other big changes. New at 10, St. Joseph County Police pay its employees the lowest compared to surrounding departments. WSBT 22's Lauren Becker is in the studio with me tonight. And Lauren, the sheriff says the increase in pay would help retain officers. Yeah, Dane, he says a lot of the officers are there for the experience and then move on to a higher paying police department. His goal is to get them to stay and to do that, he's supporting the Fraternal Order of Police's request for a pay increase. St. Joseph County police officers are hard at work every day, tasked with similar duties as surrounding departments, yet making significantly less money. So we've been trying to play catch up for years. But never quite making it. That's why the Fraternal Order of Police is requesting a 4% increase for all police officers through the county council, something Sheriff Redmond supports. People over the years leave to go to other police departments because of the pay. And that's something I certainly don't want to fall back into. Sheriff Redmond says the number of officers continue dropping. When I first started on the police department back in 1994, we had 126 officers. We're currently down to 117. He's asking the council for five additional police officer positions. It would add roughly $250,000 to the 2020 budget. So I know I am asking for a significant increase with those five additional officers, but it's, I think it's extremely crucial that we uh, increase our manpower. The county council has until November 1st to pass the budget. It's a long, very tedious process. But members are deliberating early. To say that we will consider uh, each request, uh, including the request from the FOP, is a definite yes. A project is also in the works to move the current police station to the old county highway garage behind the airport. Right now, the divisions are in separate buildings, but the new facility would bring them to one central location. We're just waiting to see what's next. The request to renovate the central garage would cost roughly around $2.6 million. All of the proposals are part of the county's budget process. Now again, the deadline to pass the county's budget is at the beginning of November. Dane.